Welcome to Our Harvest Moon Homestead. I'm Amy and today I'm going to talk about uh, just equipment for canning. So you can call this Canning 101. Um, the first thing is uh, we use uh, books with recipes and this is just a couple of the stuff that I have but the one that I use the most is the Ball Blue Book. It's kind of like the Bible of canning and they have a bigger one too which I don't have yet but um, and you can always find recipes on the internet. Um, each most recipes uh, require pectin sometimes like blackberry uh, or, you know a fruit with enough sugar content in it doesn't uh, doesn't need a pectin but when you do need pectin there is uh, powdered pectin and there is a liquid pectin and there's a difference so if your recipe calls for one or the other make sure you have the one it's calling for. We have a funnel so uh, it's very important or easy, makes life easier you put it on top of your jar and you know you're, you don't make a big mess. This funnel that I have and it's wearing off but uh, that's okay I know what it is it has the recipes will call for a quarter inch head space or an inch head space or half inch head space so you can put it on the jar and it has the opening here so you can see and just line it up to wherever you're supposed to and it makes life so much easier and then there's always a ladle so you're going to ladle things uh, ladle your jelly from the pot into the jar and uh, you need a jar lifter. Uh, this uh, lifts up like that and you either put it in the pot or the pot and then uh, taking out out of the pot. You know, we have a skimmer. Um, you might be able to fake it. You don't need to make sure you're searching for a skimmer and not starting. Just start. You can use a spoon. That's why I used to do. But some of the recipes will become uh, foamy and you'll need to skim the foam off before jarring it up. And this is my trusty pot that I use to cook all my jams and jellies in. You want one tall enough because if it gets, uh, it might, you know, start boiling over and you, with this I don't have to worry about it. Then we have a, a water bath canner. Can you see that there? And all you have to do with this is uh, pour some, make sure there's enough water in it and boil, boiling. And then you put your jars in it and the lid and you time it. Usually water bath is anywhere from 5 to 15 or 20 minutes sometimes. Um, when you're all done, you just lift the lid and take it out. It has a... Uh, it has this, this is old and uh, looks bad, but it doesn't affect the food. Um, the jars sit on this because if the jars sit right on the metal, they'll break. It's too, too much heat. So you want to separate it from the bottom of the heat. That's what that is. And then this new one I have, can you see that? Um, is actually a steam canner and it replaces the water bath. It does the exact same thing with a lot less water and because we're on a well we chose to do uh, go this route and then we don't have to worry about using up all, you know filling that big pot halfway up with water if we're in a drought that's not cool. Uh, but whether you're on a, a well or not this is a, a great way to go. It has a it has the, the thing to separate from the heat and you just fill that up so there's just water covering just that and then it has a little um, thing on the top so uh, you got to know your altitude and once you know that then you know how to just follow the directions from there. Very cool and it doesn't take as long to you know heat up the water in that and then there's the pressure canner and a lot of people are afraid of these, and I was, honestly, for a while, too, until I watched Jay pressure can green beans for a couple of years, and then he wasn't home for uh, one season while I was doing when the green beans were ready. So it was like, it was do it now, or, you know, or we don't have green beans for a year. 
So I pulled out my ball book because it has all of those kinds of instructions in it. And all I had to do is follow it step by step. And I'm a pressure canning fool now. <laughs> so you can, it's really not difficult. The newer pressure canners are a lot safer than uh, the older ones used to be. I've never ever had a problem. I just, you know, you gotta babysit it and you gotta plan on being right next, you know, close to the pot. But, you know, I would seriously go for it. Do, do some pressure canning. When I first started canning, I started with jams and jellies. And so it was easy to just start, you know, moving from that into food that could be water bathed and then, um, and then to the pressure canner. It, and you'll be so proud of yourself. And the last important mm -hmm. thing is the jars. So here's a jelly jar. And, uh, you know, make sure you got the lids uh, that separate like that. They have some new ones out that uh, can are reusable, that are one piece. I haven't tried those myself yet. but And then they have these really cool quart and a half jars. And it's uh, what you call a, a regular a wide mouth. So let's, let's go back to that. So here are quart jars, and you can see the difference in the lids. This is a this is a wide mouth jar, and this is a regular mouth jar. So we use the regular mouth. It's okay, like if you're doing spaghetti, because it's just a sauce, and you're filling the jar up, or you know any kind of juice or something like that. Um, and I've actually, when I've gotten desperate and ran out of regular wide mouth jars, I've had to use these for green beans. You just stuff stuff, you know, hit it on the table and stuff some more and hit it on the table. But it's so much easier when you're doing green beans or some kind of food like that to have the, to have the um, wide mouth jars. So back to the quart and a half, um, it has a wide mouth on it and it, it's just, it's great for so many different things. One of, we're using a lot more of this this year because it's just down to Jay and I in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the kids are all moved out on their own, and so we don't need a whole quart of spaghetti sauce. We're wasting spaghetti sauce. So we're, we've been doing all of our spaghetti sauce in the quart and a half, and we just had spaghetti tonight, and it was the perfect amount, no waste. And I think that's about it for... Um, can you can everything? Meats, veggies, potatoes, everything can be canned? Well, if you ask the FDA, not everything can be canned. If you ask your grandmother or great-grandmother, everything can be canned. That is a choice you have to make, but uh, a lot of people do can quite a few things. So, uh, if you have any other questions, please comment with them and we'll get back with you. And thank you for joining us at our Harvest Moon Homestead. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, at our website, www.ourharvestmoon.com, homestead.com. We're always screwing that up. <laughs> I think he'll have the link here, maybe. Here. And, uh... Thanks for joining us.